Hello, welcome again to Omenera TV. My name is Larry Peter, and today I have with me Moro Kolo Ademi. Moro Kolo Ademi is a global fellow of West Africa for students for sensitive job. Welcome, Moro Kolo Ademi. Thank you very much. How do you do? I'm good. What is the need for sensitive job policies? Uh, sensitive job policies is highly needed in our society, and it caters for people that have been marginalized in society. Whose rights have uh, over the years not been respected. Um, our citizens um, need the laws to respect the rights of everybody, rich or poor, black or white. In the aspect of um, incarcerating people because they use certain substances is not needed. Because uh, drug is, um, is, a, is something that is important for people to grow, to be fine, and total well being. So if um, a law or policy in the country is not addressing people's need and at when it is when. Are you saying that drug usage is a human right? It is. It has to be and it is because of how is it a human right? Yeah, everybody has um, differences and choices. And as human beings, you should have right to do what you want or do what you want. As long as you're not infringing the other people. So nobody should doctor or groom your choices. No law should be strictly or excessive for human rights. Either um, taking, injecting, or eating it in the past months, no law should be strictly or excessive for exercising their rights. Could it possibly be that the government or organizations who work to scrap or to completely eliminate drug usage in the society could it be that they want to help people who use drugs that is their mission but they are getting it wrong how because the war on drugs is uh, something that uh, um has been in back in the years the negative approach you don't um chop your head off by solving an so you need the right approach the right structure and framework to solve any society problem so, so if drug usage is a societal problem in Africa and in Nigeria, I know recently the Nigerian government moved to ban codeine. Now, what is the sensible policies that should be adopted instead of instead of incarcerating drug users? Two, two things. The policies has to address the human rights and public health approach. It's key. Human rights, especially their rights, complicated approach as making sure um, the policies are addressing the health and well being of the people. Not making decide a law that imprisons half of the public and the in prison is wrong. Would you advise that the African government should legalize this yeah, drug? Legalize, before we legalize, we decriminalize. We decriminalize. How do you decriminalize? By making sure the sanctions that are addressing punishment and imprisonment are not. Okay. Most of the laws, for example, in Nigeria, then they have to speak that for job position is 25 days. And wow. the law of youth life has been jeopardized like that. These laws should go beyond the incarceration and look at the education, treatment, education, and the license. Thank you so much for being on the Mira TV. I hope to see you again because we have to continue this conversation. Thank you, Thank you very much for your Thank you very much.